Hello guys, this video is going to be about what is a DDoS attack, what are the types, how does it work and also we are going to discuss about the key reasons of why people do DDoS attacks and uh, what actual damage can a DDoS attack can cause. Hi, I am Mitesh Kangaramani and you are watching IT Advanced Corner. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and if you like a video notifications, please click on the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Let's begin. Okay, first thing first, what does a DDoS mean or what is DDoSing? Well, DDoS stands for Distributed Denial of Service. It's a type of internet attack on any website or network to make it unavailable to its legit users or visitors. In general terms, an attacker uses thousands of computers, which are technically referred as a botnet, uh, to send uh, heavy traffic to the website or network to make it unavailable. Well, you may say, how does an attacker have access to thousands of computers? Well, let me tell you how does a DDoS work. Attacker use malware spreading techniques like email attachments, software downloads and the common operating system vulnerabilities to infect the network devices. These devices can be laptops, desktops, routers or any device that connects to the internet. Once they are infected, the devices start executing the commands sent by the attacker server or computer. For an instance, an attacker server commands, here is the target server URL, a.com, send traffic to this website and every device which got infected with that marvel will start executing commands sent by the attacker and all this process happens behind the screen without the awareness of the user. Even at the time you are watching this video, there are thousands of DDoS attacks are already running. Okay, if we talk about the major types of DDoS attacks, there are basically three types. Number one is a volumetric attack. These kinds of attacks are generally uh, targeted on the server resources or a bandwidth capacity where the website is hosted and technically termed as ICMP flood or UDP flood. And these are measured in bits per second. The second one is a protocol based attacks. These kinds of attacks primarily focus on the network components like a firewall or a load balancer with uh, techniques like uh, protocol packet flooding to make the device unstable or unavailable. The third one is application layer attack. These are comparatively low or slow attacks and they mostly target the web server vulnerabilities uh, and with the prime aim to crash the web server. You may think, hmm, but why do people do those attacks or what are the objectives of hackers behind launching the DDoS attacks? Well, there are plenty of reasons and let me tell you the most common ones. Number one is a business rivalry. Every online business has competition in a cyber world and competitors hire DDoS attackers to take down competitors website so that the visitors come to their websites. You may take an example of a two competing e-commerce websites. Number two is the political wars between countries. The internet is arena of war. Many do believe that the political parties and governments often attack each other's website to express their anger or opposition. Number three is hacktivism ideology. They commonly target the websites where they disagree with ideology. Number four is extortion. An attacker disrupts the service of website or network and asks for a hefty amount of money to restore the service back to normal state. But we know that it is harmful. But what actual damage it can cause? Let's see. Number one is a loss of income. If a website is down on peak business hours, it's a loss of income. Number two, loss of data. Some of the advanced DDoS attacks are targeted to steal the data from the server, which ends up in the data breach. Number three is a loss of 
customer trust. Damned websites always causes frustration and distrust in websites visitors. Number four, ransom money. Attacker may ask for the ransom money to restore your service again. I hope this guide uh, helped you to understand about DDoS, their types, their motive of the hackers and all the other stuff. Save trees and keep your city clean.